Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and all the stuff's in the description. I play this for Hacker Rank and Link Code Solutions on my channel. If you want to check those out, please do. Um, this is the Java problem set on Hacker Rank. We're just kind of learning Java. I'm getting ready for interviews. Got to get back into the Java mindset. Java has eight primitive data types char, boolean, bytes. I'm not going to do the finger thing. Char, boolean, bytes, uh, short, int, long, float, and double. For this exercise, we'll work with the primitives. Uh, used to hold integer values. So we're only going to work with byte, short, int, and long out of these eight uh, primitive data types. So um, these can all be used to store an integer, store an integer. Um, we're going to have eight bytes. I, I am having a tough time talking. Uh, a byte is going to hold eight bit signed integer. A short holds 16 bit signed integer. Uh, int is 32. That's the only one that I actually knew. Uh, and a long is a 64 bit signed integer. Um, so given an input integer, you must determine which primitive data types are capable of properly storing that input. To get you started, a portion of the solution is provided for you in the editor. A uh, portion of all these solutions in the Java problem seem to be provided, which is really useful and helpful. Um, so the first line contains integer t, denoting the number of test cases. Um, each test case t is comprised of a single line with an integer n, which can be arbitrarily long or small. So it looks like t is number of test cases, n is going to be the value that we have to check which data type we're going to be able to store it into. Um, so for each input variable n, an appropriate primitive data type, you must determine the given primitives are capable of storing it. And then we print star and then the name of the data type. Um, so if there is more than one appropriate data type, print each one on its own line and order them by size. So we're going to be printing on new line. Um, if a number cannot be stored in any of the four mentioned primitives, print the line, this can't be fitted anywhere. Okay, so we might want to grab that in a second. But um, yeah, that's fine. So it seems like it's going to be an if, else, if uh, type thing. So they already do the first one for us. They check, they check the boundaries of a byte, which is from negative 128 to 127. So you can actually calculate these using the information we're provided, 8-bit through 16-bit. You can actually calculate the numbers in the boundaries that we're going to need the integer to be within. So, you know, this this 8 bits, 8 bits has these boundaries, right? 8 bits has these boundaries, and uh, you just have to convert those from binary to decimal. Um, what we're going to do, they actually have built-ins to do this, so I'm going to prefer to use the built-ins. I've used the built-ins a lot in a lot of problems. So we're actually going to do... Um, well, x is greater than or equal to, and what are we working with? We're working with byte, short, int, and long. So um, we're going to be using byte dot min value. So they both, they all have these dot min values and max values. So we're going to make sure that the number is between, and I thought we were getting n, but we're actually getting x as the integer. We're going to make sure that x is between all the boundaries before we uh, print. So we're going to do while x is greater than or equal to byte.min value and byte x is less than or equal to byte.max value, right? Then we're gonna print out. Oh, we're not we're not doing byte, sorry, we're doing short. Sorry, I literally looked that up and I just wrote it wrong. So we're doing short here, and then we're doing int, and then we're doing long, right? So we're gonna type in short, not shirt, short. Uh, a lot of typos, right? Um, and then we're gonna do int. I think it's just int and its integer is the class that we're going to use to get the min and max values and then we're going to have long right and then we'll just say long so we can really we can already try and print this uh we might i might have missed a few things at the top that we'll have to go back to okay no it works first try yeah so they have built in class they have built in class methods um not even class methods they're like constant values uh, for the short integer and long and even byte we could we could turn these this negative 28 to you know bytes dot min value and byte dot max value right because these represent the values they're just constants um, that are built in that you can use uh, much, I, I don't want to memorize these values and I don't want to calculate from decimal to binary and I don't think a lot of people do so you can use the built-ins okay so um, we did min value, sorry, that I was like, did this video just get ruined? No, it's actually max value. So yeah, just get, if you wanna make sure something is able to be stored in a byte integer short or long, uh, you can just check if it's within the boundaries of the, the class of the data type and the constants min value, max value. Remember to do caps locks. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, there you go. That's the problem. That was called Java data types, and I'm doing all the Java ones. So if you want to keep going here, maybe you'll learn something. All right. See you.